Hey everyone, what's going on? I'm Greg. And I'm JR. And together we're... Beverage, Beverage Buddies! Buddies! Welcome to episode 6! Today, we have a very special episode because what are we doing, Greg? We're going to compare two different beers today. Not one, but two. One being a lager from Boston. It's a Sam Adams lager and it's flavored with grapefruit. The other beer we're tasting is a Ballast Point Grapefruit Sculpin, which is a San Diego native beer. Recently, fun fact, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Ballast Point actually just was acquired by Constellation brands such as Modelo and Corona for the price of one billion dollars. One billion dollars? One billion dollars. Oh yeah? yeah? Well, big deal. Yeah. Sam Adams basically started the craft beer movement in 1995 and now it's part of Boston Beer, which is the number one largest beer company in the world! Yeah, well, uh... Um, uh, what? Uh, Ballast Point is the 31st rank largest brewery in the nation. Oh! Big deal. Boston forever. Forever! Yeah, well, San Diego has unbeatable weather. Boston has a million Dunkin' Donuts on every street and block. We have the best Mexican food in the world. Yeah, J.I., you know what? I'm gonna beat you with everything I got. Go, we tell got me. Harvard University. We got Fenway Park, we have seafood like lobster and clam chowder, we got the most historic buildings in the nation, and we have the best damn accent. Well, I mean, well, there's San Diego State, but that's a party school. We got the Chargers and the Padres, but the stadium is filled with the other fans. But hey, we have fish tacos, but... No, nope, that's frozen just fish. frozen fish. We have the Whaley House. We do the have the Whaley House. How many people know about the Whaley House? Shh. And, uh, well, we have accents, but they're from other parts of the world. Uh, no comprende? So... Eh? Alright, alright, you know what? Let's just get to beer. Let's stop making oh, comparisons. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's just get to the beer, yeah. We're the beverage buddies, yeah. not the... We're not comparison buddies. Let's just get to the beer. This Ballast Point Sculpin IPA has an alcohol by volume of 7% with IBU of 70. And for those of you that don't know, 70 on IBU on the scale is actually pretty high, making it quite a bitter beer. Greg, what do you, why don't you tell us about your Sam Adams? I surely will. I have got a Sam Adams. This baby is unreleased. It's going to be called Rebel Grapefruit IPA. It has an alcohol by volume of 6.3% and it's a 52 on the IBU scale, which is less than his, but it's still kind of a bitter beer as well. So you know what? Let's pop the car in Harvard Yard so we can pop the top of these two beers! So first off, let's compare the color. All right, let's do it. So when I look at mine, I notice that mine's just a little more piss yellow. JR's to me looks more like apple juice. JR, what do you think? Color-wise, I would agree with Greg. The ballast point that I'm holding in this hand looks like it's a little bit richer and it's a little bit more darker, almost like an orange. Yep, totally. Let's give this baby a whiff. Uh, I can, I, it's weird. I can even the, mine's yellow, and I I, can, I feel like I can almost smell some lemon in there. It's probably obviously the grapefruit. What about you? You know, mine personally, everybody's different. Smells like a true IPA. I don't know that I smell that grapefruit. I guess there is only one way to find out. Yep, smell mine. I was talking about the taste. Yeah, I want to smell yours now. Okay. But you know what? There. 
Mine has a definitely, I can definitely smell more citrus. Citrus, yeah, totally right, than, than I can in his. All right, we're gonna try my beer first, the Grapefruit Sam Adams. Let's give it a whirl, baby girl. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, personally, it doesn't give me that IPA taste. It really goes down smooth. It's really good. Mm, I don't know why people do this to themselves. Let's try <laughs> the next one. Now, before we take a sip of this last beer, let's toast to two of the best cities in the United States of America, Boston and San Diego. Mmm. <laughs> It's really bitter. Yep. You definitely a lot stronger. Definitely a lot stronger than the <laughs> Greg, is that a little heresy on your chest? Maybe. Maybe I uh just dropped my balls. Now on a scale of one to five beverage buddies, I'm gonna let JR take it from here. JR, what are you going to rate the Sam Adams Rebel Grapefruit IPA? Why, thank you, Greg. You know, personally, it went down a lot smoother than I thought it was going to be. So I'd go with about a 3.5 out of 5. That's not bad. Okay. Now, you gave this a 3.5 out of 5. Should what be. are you going to rate the Ballast Point Grapefruit Sculpin? Are you going to rate it higher or lower? What do you well, think? Well, you know, because the ABV and the IBU is a little bit higher than the Sam Adams. Definitely, you definitely feel that bitter taste. For me personally, I'm not a big IPA fan. It's not. But I still give it a three out of five. Three out of five. Okay, so the winner, an all time winner, Sam Adams Grapefruit. IPA. IPA. Thank you for watching episode six. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, be safe and be responsible.